Welcome to Basic Photography 101. Photo tip number one, how to hold your camera to get the best steady photo. Before I explain photo tip number one, I know what you're thinking. Who is this guy? Does he know what he's talking about? The answer is yes. I've been a professional photographer for over 40 years. I'm not famous, but I've photographed a lot of famous people. My photos have appeared in many national magazines and on the covers of several photography magazines. My career has taken me to the White House shooting the President of the United States, to sporting events, shooting football, baseball, and basketball for Inside Sports Magazine, shooting the first space shuttle missions for the Rangefinder Magazine. Now, enough about me. This photo tip number one is the first of many tips to teach you how to take better photos and be a better photographer. When hand holding a camera, it is important to be steady for sharper, clearer photos and to be sure that the shutter speed is faster than the focal length of the lens you are using. For example, when shooting with a 50 millimeter lens, the shutter speed should be at least 1 60th of a second or faster. When shooting with a 120 millimeter lens, the shutter speed should be at least 1 25th of a second or faster. Most people starting out in photography don't know how to hold their camera properly to get the best shot. When shooting a horizontal photo, they hold their camera in this manner, arms away from the body, little pinky finger up in the air. When shooting a vertical photo, they turn their camera counterclockwise with their elbow up in the air, arms away from the body. The correct way to hold a camera to get the best steady photo is in this manner. The camera rests in the palm of the hand with the fingers underneath the lens for support and focusing the arms and elbows against the chest for support, using your body as a tripod. When shooting a vertical photo, turn the camera clockwise, fingers underneath the lens for support and focusing, arms and elbows against the chest for support. The arms and elbows against the chest for support is especially more important when shooting with long telephoto lenses. Most professional photographers shoot in this manner, even when shooting from a tripod or a monopod. Most professional model cameras have two shutter buttons, the usual button at the top of the camera and an additional button on the right bottom corner. For those photographers who prefer to turn their camera counterclockwise when shooting vertical photos, or when shooting horizontal photos, the right hand also holds the camera steady. Over the years, I have taught several photography continuing education classes for several colleges and universities. I've always been asked, what camera should I buy? What lens? What lens should I use for this shot or that shot? How do you freeze action? What is aperture, f-stop, shutter speed? What is ISO? Well, it occurred to me one day, with my 40 years experience in photography and over 30 years experience in shooting video productions, I have the equipment. The answer is I could produce a video that answers all these questions. So here it is, a 45 minute video presentation called Basic Photography 101 that teaches the basic principles of photography. It covers exposure, which involves aperture, f-stops, and shutter speed. It talks about depth of field, how to get a shallow depth of field or a deep depth of field. It also covers composition. This video is a gold mine of information and helpful tips to become a better photographer, to take better photos, especially if you are thinking about making photography a career. Here are a few clips from the video. Basic Photography 101 is for the beginner and anyone who wants to know how to take better photos. 
The purpose of this video is to help you understand the basic principles of photography. Exposure, depth of field, and composition. We'll discuss light, ISO settings, aperture, shutter speed, and other photography terms, making them simple to understand and apply. Aperture is the f-stop setting on the lens or an internal setting on a digital camera. It refers to the iris or lens opening. A small lens opening, such as f16 or f22, lets in less light than an f-stop set at f4. The ISO setting is important to understand, as well as the terms f-stop, shutter speed, and white balance. By understanding the basic principles of photography, you take control of your camera to get the shots you want and not the shots the camera gives you. I wish a video like this had been available when I was learning photography 40 years ago. I guarantee you, if you get the video, you will learn and understand the basic principles of photography that will make you a better photographer. To purchase the video, go to my website at www.csphotovideo.com or click on the link below in the description area. You have three options for getting the video. The Blu-ray version, high definition video, is only $29.99. The standard definition DVD version is only $24.99 or you can download the video for only $19.99. Here on YouTube, I hope you like my presentation and subscribe to my channel for more tips on photography. I also plan to produce more how-to videos on different subjects of photography. Most creative photographers see an image up here before they see the image in the viewfinder. When you know and understand the basic principles of photography, you can create that image in the camera. Thank you. Good luck. Good shooting.